now let's create a public transform by the name of waypoint origin and basically this will be an object which we will be assigning that will be used as a parent for our waypoints now right here let's create a on GUI function or method if you say in here let's create a serialized field actually serialized object and this serialized object will be for our window so we can easily draw its properties after this let's create a property field for our waypoint root so we will say editor gui layout dot property field and in here we will say obj dot find property and the property will be waypoint origin and then make sure that you applied the modify properties so we will say object dot apply modified properties and let's add a message to make sure the modified properties is assigned and if it is not assigned then we will create a message as well so right here first of all we will say that if the waypoint origin is equals to null okay if it is not assigned if the modified properties is not assigned then we will say editor GUI or GUI then we will say layout dot help box and in here we will say please assign a origin or waypoint origin transform and then the message type will be warning okay if the properties is not assigned then we will give a warning to the user and now if the properties are assigned then what we want to do we will simply say editor GUI layout dot begin vertical in here we will type box and then we will call a function which will be by the name of create buttons and this create buttons will enclose in a vertical layout so we will say editor gui layout dot end vertical Okay, right here it will begin the vertical and then it will show all of the buttons and then we will say and vertical now let's just simply create this function right here we will say void create buttons and in here let's create a button so we will say if gui or gui layout dot button and let's name this button as create the point and when this button is clicked then we want to call a function which will be by the name of create a point now let's simply create this function as well so right down below we will say void create a point and in here we will simply create a new game object by the name of waypoint object and this will be equals to new game object and uh, we will name this as waypoint in the hierarchy and that will be followed by the waypoint origin dot child count and it's 
type of will be wave point okay and as you know this wave point is this okay so it will create a wave point and that wave point will have these two references which is the previous wave point and the next wave point and as i told you right here we are just simply creating a new game object we name that as wave point object and then it will create a new game object inside our hierarchy by the name of wave point and then we use the plus sign and what this means that it will first of all type this wave point and then it will add the child count number and as you know the child count number is one two three four five and so on okay so how this will work is first of all in the hierarchy by manually we will create a wave point origin game object and then we will assign that object to this public transform and then inside this public transform we will be creating a new child by the name of wave point and that will be followed by the child count okay the wave point origin child count because this wave point will be the child of this wave point origin now let's set this wave point as a child or of our wave point origin as i told you so for that we will say wave point origin dot transform dot set parent and in here we will say wave point origin and we want to make our wave point system automatically linked wave points when we create a new one so let's get a reference to our wave point component so we will say wave point let's name this as wave point as well and this will be equals to wave point object dot get component and the component will be the wave point and this is this wave point class okay in which we keep the track of the next wave point and the previous wave point in order to link all of the wave points after this we will check that if the wave point origin has child more than one then we will assign the previous wave point okay which is this one previous wave point and if the child has then Two, then we will assign both of the previous wave point and the next wave point so right here let's assign the previous wave point so we will say wave point dot previous wave point and this will be equals to wave point origin dot get child and in here we will say wave point origin dot child count minus two and then we will say dot get component and let's get the wave point component and now let's add the next wave point as well so we will say wave point dot previous wave point dot next wave point will be equals to the wave point okay now let's also set our new wave point facing the same direction as the previous wave point so right here we will say wave point dot transform dot position will be equals to wave point dot previous wave point dot transform dot position and then we want to place it in the forward direction so we will say web point dot transform dot forward and this will be equals to web point dot previous web point dot transform dot forward and after this we will select the newly created web point in order to edit it okay so we will say selection dot active game object this will be equals to 
with point dot game object okay now if we save this and actually let's change all of this to transform okay we miss the s in the transform and change this g to small g okay game object now let's go ahead right here in the waypoint let's open up our waypoint editor tool and now right here it shows this warning please assign a waypoint origin as we typed in the code right here if the waypoint origin is equals to null then we will show this okay so now if we assign a waypoint origin to it then it will show us the button in a vertical direction so let's go ahead first of all add that there and now let's create a waypoint origin so we will say waypoint origin and guys make sure that this uh, game object name is similar to this one okay so let me copy that and let's go in the inspector let's change it name to waypoint origin okay that's it now let's click on that now if we assign the waypoint origin game object as you can see it shows us this create waypoint button as you type right here if we don't have then it shows us this warning and now we have assigned the waypoint origin now it shows the buttons okay so in the create buttons we created this create waypoint button and on that we call this function which is by the name of create waypoint and now when we create a waypoint then that waypoint game object will be set as a child to this waypoint origin okay and then we have assigned the waypoint previous waypoint and the next waypoint okay and when we create more than two waypoint then the waypoint values will go accordingly with the child count so let's go ahead and create a waypoint as you can see it shows waypoint 0 and if we check the inspector as you can see for now the previous waypoint and the next waypoint is empty let's go ahead and create a new one and guys before creating a new one as you can see you can notice right here it already selected the waypoint 0 okay and if we create another one as you can see it created a new one but the child count is not working but as you can see it is selecting the next waypoint as you type right here in order to fix this issue as you can see right here it created the waypoint 00, 0 as a parent game object okay it is not the child of this waypoint origin so let me actually delete that and right here when we are uh, setting the waypoint origin as a parent of this new waypoint right here we type waypoint origin we need to change this to waypoint object okay which is that one so just remove that and type waypoint object okay save it and now if we click on our waypoint as you can see our waypoint origin is assigned now if we click on create waypoint as you can see it shows waypoint 0 now let's add another one now it shows waypoint 1 and if we check the inspector of the waypoint 0 as you can see its previous waypoint is not added but it next waypoint is assigned which is waypoint 1 and if we check the waypoint 1 now the waypoint 1 next waypoint is empty but the previous waypoint is this one okay now let's select the waypoint origin let's go right there let's create another one now as you can see it shows waypoint 2 if you check the waypoint 2 its previous is waypoint 1 and if you check the waypoint 1 now as you can see now its next waypoint is waypoint 2 now the next waypoint of the waypoint 2 is not assigned but now if we create another one which is waypoint 3 now if we check the waypoint 2 as you can see its next waypoint is waypoint 3 so now in this way you can create different waypoints okay now we need some visualization for this waypoint okay because for now as you can see it shows the waypoint as empty okay and also they are inside the ground and the reason behind that that 
we need to move this waypoint origin to the ground okay like this let's move it a little bit up let's focus on it now as you can see it is on the ground okay let's actually move it there now if we come right here okay now we have the waypoint on the ground And now we can actually move the waypoint according to our track, okay, like this. And guys, also we need a visualization because like this, we will get confused because we can't see our waypoints, okay. But now you know how to add the waypoint AI system. And once you have added all of your waypoints, then what you will do just click on this wave point zero and assign the last wave point for example in my case the last wave point is wave point three so assign that here and then click on the wave point three and assign the next wave point as zero k okay? so in this way the car will move between these wave points so i hope you understand how to add the waypoint system now in the next video we will add visualization to our waypoints okay because now we can't see our waypoints and this can get really confusing so let's end this video right here and catch you guys in the next one